started in 1934, it was a general store. My grandmother went to Chicago, another business um, partner had asked her to bring back a wedding dress. So when my grandmother would go to Chicago to buy her, um, for her general store, her products and her textiles and so forth, she brought one back for it, it was perfect. A year after that, another person from our small community said, hey, you brought Helen, was the name of the first bride. You brought Helen a dress, it was so beautiful, can you bring me one next time you go? So she goes annually, and then the next year she just brought back six and put it in the store, and there's where it rolled from there. So 85 years to this point of strictly just bridal. I think it's just, you know, the tradition of like, it's like the dress, and that's what everyone waits to see. It's like the one big surprise the day of for everybody, so I think. It's just kind of like that wow moment. It kind of sets off the whole ceremony and the whole day. The one day that you look forward to like throughout when you are like uh, in elementary school and beyond. So it's a really big day and you want everything to be perfect. My name is Michelle Mueller. I'm the president of Becker's Bridal. Becker's is um, actually one of the oldest in the country bridal shops. It's been going since 1934. Um, completely a destination place as far as any local brides. We get brides from other countries all across America, and we have about 2,000 wedding gowns with an expansion into Lansing for an outlet, so now we can service all different budget brides. The amount of dresses, what makes Becker's unique in one aspect is that wedding dresses are about 2,000 here. We have about 700 in our outlet, um, average bridal shop, give or take uh, 200 to 300. So the percentage is that the brides get a lot of value and get to see all the dresses under one roof at the same time to make her decision much easier. Becker's has reached the success that it has is that we truly pull each bride in as a family member. We want them to have the best and be the best and look the best that they can on the wedding day without breaking bank. They belong um, to a family unit and that they trust us. I just feel like the atmosphere in here is just wonderful. Everyone's happy, everyone's excited. It makes the bride-to-be, you know, I feel like it makes them comfortable. I am fifth generation uh, owner at Becker's here, uh, as long as it's been bridal, fifth generation. So growing up, my mom and grandma were always working and I would come in as a little girl and play around or pretend I was working. Um, and so when I came to actually work here, my grandma had already retired, uh, but she was still doing sewing and things at home and would help at the counter. So I did actually get to work with her. And then my mom and I work side by side every day. We have been working together for about 17 years now. So it is definitely a family affair, day in, day out, business and pleasure, I guess, all at once. I'm excited to finally marry my best friend. I know everybody says that, but the, he's really my best friend. So I'm gonna cry. I got tissues, girl, I got tissues. <laughs> well, the bride wants to look beautiful and they want to wear something that will make their groom light up when he sees her. I was looking things up and I just saw that this was one of the, from what people are saying, the best places in Michigan to go. It seemed like it's, it's this family, you know, started as a family company and it has that like closeness and I don't know, there's just something exciting about it. I knew quite a few brides who got their dresses here and I kept hearing, if you don't get your, like, if you can't find something at Becker's, you won't find anywhere else. So why, why go anywhere else? So this is the only place I went to and got my dress within after trying on like eight, nine dresses, so yeah. I have two boys, two little boys, they're four and two and they come in all the time. We actually used to live across the street when my first son was little and he was here every day and so he's kind of growing up in it the same way that I did. Um, people do always kind of res me about not having girls, like who's going to take over your business, who's, you know, are... but honestly to me I feel like a man and his wife could run this business just as 
well. My grandfather was actually his mother who started it. So he married my grandmother and they took it over together. So I feel like it would be really special if their hearts led them to meet somebody who wanted to do this with them, but by no means um, would we want to pressure them to feel that way. My mom was really adamant when I was growing up that I could do whatever I wanted, that she didn't want me to feel pressured like I had to do this. And so it gave me a lot of free options to really be um, called to what I felt I was meant to do. Family um, in all of our lives is all that there really is. At the end of the day, we do our jobs. We have family, more so probably environments in our work field, be it school or our job. Um, so it's not just our blood family, but it's family that you have in any relationship that you have all day long. So it's a great feeling even for my stylist and our staff to be involved in each bride's family when they come through. They leave a part of the day feeling, wow, I just made a difference in this family's lives. So it's not just about wearing a beautiful dress. It's about the interaction that happens through the whole wedding process. It's just a family trusting tie that bonds all of us together.